today is Thursday, June 22nd. It's about 9.07. Um, we'll go ahead and call it in order. Um, so we have today, the only item on our agenda is to discuss issues related to wages, hours of employment, and other terms and conditions of employment for firefighters, let's say San Marcos. So basically where we are is, um, I think we have everything worked out other than pay. And so, um, and I think arbitration, those are the yes. two items. Yes. So just needed to, do I want to start with pay or do I want to start with arbitration? It doesn't matter. It's, it's totally up to you. Um, I, I feel like, I feel like realistically, unless there's something that's changed on the city side that we, we are in agreement with the agreement on the pay as well. It's just an arbitration thing. Okay. So with, so what the pay is that it's the 8% year one, 5% year two, and then year three would be 4.5%. Okay. And no, I Pays or anything like that, it's just really all the one that they say. Correct. Yes, okay. So I presented that just to a little explanation. I presented it to the membership, but with both ways that, that you and I spoke about, but with the different options that we had, and everyone, all of all the members that were at the meeting that day chose the those different. So is this yes. versus doing the soft pay yes, at a lower, lower um, pay scale? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if we're, if we're good there, then let's. Spend the rest of the time, I guess, talking about arbitration and seeing sure. kind of well. I know Chase had offered for him to be able to go and talk with the membership about kind of you know some of the benefits and, and, and things that could be. So I, I don't know. You probably you weren't able to, or you weren't going to ask to go. You are right. Could, could I interject? Yeah. So I did. So so and I do appreciate that, Chase. I spoke to a few members prior to the meeting. The ones that like. Are, are the guys that people look up to and will listen to um, about it. And we tried every angle that we could to say, hey, and I think the city, you know, is really wanting us to consider this. They didn't think it would do any good for you to come and try to explain it. So therefore, I didn't offer you to come um, just because I didn't want to waste your time. Um, I then uh, presented it to the membership and explained it to them after, you know, that was the two topics that we had. Was, hey, I was looking for direction, which, which route that, that our membership wanted us to go there. And then the arbitration thing, because everything else we were in agreement on. And that was the one article that was an absolute hard no from every member in that room and every member that we talked to, no matter how you explain it, no matter how much we tried. Just because our membership, you know, regardless of what happened, we understand where we think you guys are coming from with it. Um, and I think everyone in here is coming from a good place with it. But I think that that opens a door to potentially opening us up to with our due process to stepping in onto that and i don't think that we necessarily need to do that right now we haven't had any issues like that in the past on the fire side so therefore our membership doesn't think that we need to create a solution for a problem that does not exist in our world okay. and that's the direction that i got, from you got right yes, so would you be open to putting something in the agreement so i'm here to know yes on that correct so i guess what i want to know is do you think there'd be any um appetite for just saying that we'll talk about it next time i, I think we can i mean i'm i, I mean just like with everything sure. else right anything can be brought up it doesn't mean that y'all are going to agree to it but there would at least be some discussion of it next time and that way between now and then, there's some, just, you know, sure. certain time for discussion about it when we're not in a negotiated phase. That's fair. And maybe there's some education or, you know, see how things go on the cop side sure. you know, with it or, you know, things like that. So just something that would just say that we would revisit, it. That we would revisit it at the next contract. That's I think fair. that that's, you know, at least it's not closing the door completely on it, right. but it's not saying y'all are going to do it either. It's right. just it's just saying that, hey, we want to talk about it. It's still going to be something we want to. We don't want it just to go away. Kind of like the language we put for the assessment center. Piece. Exactly. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think that's fair. Exactly. So that it's just, hey, we're just going to, sure. we know that's going to be on our issue list as something to talk about next yes, week. So what does that look like? Does that leave this article and heading with just a statement that both parties agree with the honor? Is she supposed to discuss that in the application? Yeah, it's a good so, it could be just a place. Yeah, everything else is twenty-two. Is it or is it twenty-one? I think it's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, sure. The reason they say that somewhere offline is that's what we saw. This one piece of the that's what we're So, the, and that was my question. So, this is I'm assuming this is copy and pasted, like the same thing as the existing PD contract. It is. Okay, that's how it is. Okay, sure. And, I, and I'm okay with that. Like, if we. Just put the language in there saying that it's something we can revisit at the next contract. 
not making any promises exactly. whatsoever, but at least we can revisit it. I'm okay with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have discussed that you know we were trying to be considering similar language. Um, the guy just came from the language on the five, which is different for the majority of the members. So mm -hmm. you can't get the same issue. Though. Yeah, yeah. Just to be fair, the PD, this wasn't an easy, easy negotiation with the right. I mean, we, yes, sir. we ended the last negotiation just agreeing to talk about it and what the country did. And we became the agreement, but it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, they, they did come to the agreement. And I, I hold out hope that the film membership will, will be open in the future. And I, and I still, once I'm here, uh, I'll present the table so they can kind of, kind of walk in and do it so. Because I think there's an opportunity there to help them understand that it's not an attack on anybody's rights. It's really just trying to get to a place where we're all more comfortable with what the end result of an arbitration might be. Right. But like I said last time, you know, this wants to back down, back down, back down. And everybody knows about you know, winning a job right because of this. And we all want to involve. Correct. And, and I completely understand. Like I said, I think everyone in this room is coming from a good place with this, including our chief, he's not here, but I don't think our chief would ever abuse this policy in any way, shape or form. But none of us know what's gonna happen in the next 10 years. It could be nobody here and it could be absolutely, our membership feels like it could be used against us in a negative way and that's what they're afraid, right? So that's where we're at. So again, I, I do, I, personally, I understand where you're coming from and I do believe wholeheartedly that you guys are coming from a good place with this. I just think that it's, there's, there's a slippery slope, so let's just, Table it, maybe discuss the next contract, and we'll see what we what we land. Yeah, and I think you know the reason I'm willing to do that is because of the fact that this isn't something that we had talked about at length with y'all on the arbitration side, you know, and so uh, it was something from the very beginning that we talked about with with PD, and you know, we said okay, they had a little bit more time to kind of get. I don't think completely comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But they have enough time to get it to a point where they can at least get on board with it and, and do their best to sell it to their membership, you know. Um, so I think I'm willing to take that into consideration and say, let's look at it next time, let's have more discussion, let's see where we go, you know, at that time based on you know the next contract and then where, where we are with that. So um is that fair? Yeah. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Sounds great. I appreciate it. So we can we can do that as a placeholder, and then is there anything else that we need to? I don't think so. We've been back and forth, and we made a couple of big changes yesterday. Um, took out one section and then changed another one to the on the expiration of the prior agreement versus having on that page. Okay. So we only want to do We also need to do one time agreement. Or just to make sure, make sure I was able to draw a little piece of the cross, but that's what, yeah, because of the time. You can't get it. So, probably the timeline that we did. I have, I have one question for you, and again, I don't think it's a big deal, but uh, Aaron just brought up to my attention. Um, on the assessment centers, which we're good with, with the language and everything like that, it says the eligibility list will be good for 18 months. I, I do remember briefly talking about it. Said, well, can you just explain that? Like, is that something you want to do for the BC? Yes. Is that something that the city wanted to do just because of the assessment centers? Or I know we had talked about it, I just don't remember where we landed. Please fill me in. Um, and actually, we've had that for 18 months as long as we've had assessment centers, we can get, we can talk about that at our uh, we're not opposed to it. I'm just trying to make sure that we're on the same page. Like, it's not a lot to. of work and excuse, but into the process, I want to get 12 months out of this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You know, I just like, I, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I know we had talked about it and again, we're not opposed to it. I just want to make sure that is that only for for the VC because of the assessment center? So I can explain it if, if it yeah, gets brought up. Because of the assessment center. Right. Fair so, enough. Yeah, we're not opposed to that. I just want to make sure. So we can't give the list as well. Mm -hmm. sure. it's, it's just the one that has to be Okay, fair enough. I just wanted to do some clarification. So I was asking Linda about um, this timeline on uh, next steps. It says we need to kind of understand you know, when the job be taking this for a vote um, of your membership. Yes, I believe we allow the month of July. Yes, right. And then get ready that. 
Yeah, my, my goal is to have it done, our vote done by the end of July so that you guys can take the council and all this. So we would need the first, August, month of July. Um, so the first meeting in August would be the August date. I don't know why it's not on my list. August 15th is when we delivered the budget. So that would be the second meeting. Okay, so it is August 1st. Yeah. But then for the first one, we would need to have it from them, July. So, okay, so Liz would, Liz would post the 26th. So we would just need it. I mean, do you think y'all can have it to us by Monday, the, actually by Friday the 21st of July? I do not think it, the, as long as we agree and sign everything today, I don't see that being a problem at all. So Friday the 21st. Yeah, we can, we can for sure have that done. I can have that done. That would be good because then, then we have these, because then we would bring the budget to council on the 15th. So it would be yes, good to make sure that that's all. That, yeah, that gives us a full month because the biggest thing is I want to make sure that, you know, because in the past I've had members that complain. Of course, they don't ever show up to meetings. They're the ones that don't ever. They're not involved at all, but they expect us to, you know, knock on their door and explain the whole thing to them. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that everyone has plenty of time to go over it, ask any kind of questions they have or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So so it gives you all a month, Russell. Yes, ma'am. That's plenty of time. So yes. just to kind of get for 22nd. Yeah. So it would be mm -hmm. 21st Friday that we'd be looking at um having yes, made that all Is the pay going to be effective on August 1st? Or is it on the 1st? It's not on the 1st. So I guess that brings up, let's see, we have a thing we do again by August, but it can't stop. And maybe it's a legal question about. We're going to need to do more input testing, for example, right? Yes. And so we've got these changes to the provision about whether or not those could be effective upon approval of the agreement in advance of the October 1 overall effective date. And obviously, we're okay with that. If you can make that work, please so, do that. Fine with okay. that. And we wanted to do that also with the our motion. And, um, I can get everybody's commitment to do the review of the document, the five eyes, cross T's, etc. And then we can finalize that and get it to the by next Monday. Sure. Thanks. Unfortunately, I'm getting used to it a lot. They have. Yeah, they've been on the back and forth. Yeah, we found both of us on a few typos and things like that yesterday. So. Yeah, we'll get we'll get out here and I don't even want to see the file. Um, we'll just give a sign over to the Yeah, so I can kind of very good change the article. Outside of outside of just the article 21 and you finding out about legal, I don't know if that changes anything that we need to sign or if there's a separate form we need to sign. It would just be something here about effective date that would actually change between sure. those articles to make them effective earlier. Other than that, I'm, I'm okay with, like I said, he said we can sign whatever whatever we can get a jump on and find that as well. For the part timers, just clarification, uh, they have had their certifications, but uh, uh, yet the eligible for part time. No, that's just going to be up to the chief that he would see the script. Okay. Uh, yeah. They can't yeah. work in operations. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. They can't work in ops regardless. Yeah. So it's up to the chief. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then we need to clarify that the article, though. Is that the question for you? That would be a question. He's, I think you, he, they're asking because of Greg Carlton, the guy that is, or the, the ATF guy that they wanted, that had to carry an officer. And they were asking for investigation purposes. I think Henderson had the same question, but 
I, I would have thought they do have to have it for my chair, so that's why I'm saying that we know I agree. Yes, they should say that. Yeah, I agree. Henderson has a question, and you have a question. Well, and, and the reason they did have the question is because, again, that's why I would leave it up to the chief's discretion because he's not going to hire any to go blow off the street right. to come work here. It would be somebody like that. And I, to my knowledge, but let, let's think about speak. that for a minute because if they're not TCF certified, he can harm his disability for that, right? To do anything. He wants to do the yeah. as a, Right. So, as a part, he can, but well, he can't hire them part time, can he? I don't know how that works. So, you can hire some business work. He can't. So, I, I didn't I did not know that. So, yeah. they, it's almost as good as the part of the store. Okay. Then I'm okay with that. Either way, it still covers that aspect. But let's think about it. I'm going back and forth here. Because fire has the prescribed list of things under civil service. And if that person is doing something that's on that list of things and investigated by the team is, so that that may be another thing. Let me make a placeholder unless sure. he's over being not. Uh, and I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll also do something that's what he's trying to be saying. But I think what one example would maybe he wanted to hire a, a peace officer to work on a correct part yes, of the correct. So it wasn't correct. For a firefighter, it's not so that's what that's what that would be. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that would be, uh, be, uh, be like Carl's status as he has his people. So, right. But if they didn't have the safety, but the barbar took the question. Yes, yeah, so, so, so same thing. Consult legal to make, just to make, I think we're on the same page. And what is just making sure we're doing it? Yes, we just need to make sure it's clear. Yes, we do. I just, you know, none of us want to get into a, a, a situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some limits. Which, which article is that? I think it's towards the end of the article. <laughs> Section 2C, well, Article 3, Section 2C, page 5, the on site of the fire department. In section required to the water line. Yeah, I'm not sure. 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 Um, and 143.03, it talks about who should be in the room classified service. One of those two, hence our RC investigation. Mm -hmm. So they would be still, <laughs> he would need to be part of the classified service. And it would be the answer. It was the answer most of us. Right. Right. It's, it's, so, I'm sorry, what did you say 143.03? That kind of the read up start? So they was the duty that fire, uh, fire. Investigations are one of the things that will trigger one for Gotcha. Okay. So, our suppression, prevention, training, education, maintenance, communications. Um, <clears throat> photography, administration, just as the University Medical Technology. Technology. And our arson investigation. Okay. So, so, then there's a list of things. People that it doesn't apply to, so Secretary Clark, Mitch Daniels, custodial, other administrative so. so we're okay with like I, I'm I'm okay with giving that to Chief's discretion. However, we need to word that and get around it. I'm okay with that because I think the intent behind it is to help everyone, um, you know, department included, just as long as they're they can not be put into operations and they can't they're they're not covered under chapter one point three. I think the intended there regardless is how we need to work it on the table. Is there anything wrong with the current word? Because it seems to be better. I, I'm fine with it. If you as long as you guys are okay with it, I'm totally fine with it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, it to me, it says that the chief may appoint part time firefighters for limited purposes, excluding assignments to operations that will not be members of classified service appointment and will not have the protections of civil service employment or for the duration of employment. Part time firefighters shall 
not work more than a thousand hours per year and not more than 30 hours in a week. So they're going to entitle them to health insurance, they're going to entitle them to TMRS, unless approved by the director of human resources for their designated life. Okay. So that that helps to take care of those those things. So no to no classifications, the civil service, no TMRS, no, no um medical benefits. So firefighter by definition is all right. So right. It is definition right. section. Right. And does it also mean it has to be TCSP certified? Well, I think the intent is that would be a sworn firefighter. Yeah, yeah, I think the intent is if you hire somebody who's not a certification, it's going to be clear to them you're not protected from the risk. Because mm -hmm. if it's if they're not if it's a sworn person, they're just a fucking employee in general. Right. So I guess the you know, be whether they have it or not, this answers any question, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think if they don't have it, it would be clear that they could hire them outside. Except for this list of duties in here, and this would fix that. Right. So what we want to make sure is that outside of that list of duties, if we hire someone part time that doesn't have any TCP certifications, but may be able to do that list of duties, does this cover that? That's what I want to make sure. Yeah. So we're going to find it. Um, we're going to add that one. this. Just to say, as as stated in. So that it shows the intent. Then we have a couple of these sections that I need to watch. Mm -hmm. Maybe before we sign on the list, we have to swap out the item. We maybe just take a brief break and we can consult with people for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So, um, Linda, you want to kind of she's talk with legal and have some ideas on how we can get the fire marshal and the hiring process to be effective now? So, okay. um, so what we we would need to specify in the article that it's effective immediately upon ratification and approval. And then put that same you know, the, on the front of the agreement. Okay. So, I guess the question is then, do we want everything in the hiring article? I'm okay with that. And I was <laughs> looking briefly, really, the issue is not the fire marshal article itself, it's the creation of the assistant sheet. So, it would be article eight. Right. And I think, and if you guys look at it, you can see that there's anything. Um, Article 18 that needs to be included. I because our promotion is from within for this one. Yes, I think it's only the creation of the chief. Yes, I think Article 18 specified that there were a new farm market to come in, like the current one now will be covered under Article 8 to meet the creation of the new chief. So then we'll do Article 3 and Article 8. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll add a section and go right below the article heading about the effective date. Okay. Um, then you're going to about 143, 003, about yes, having that item. Okay. And then through this one, you have yeah. and then article 21, just the place where that we're going to talk about, where the parties agree to talk about it during the next contract negotiation process. Um, oh, you already have the, the eight, five, and four? The eight, five, four, and a half. Four and a half. Okay. So Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. I'm with that. Let's look into those offline and sign them out there. Seven. That includes all the shoes, the formal stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then we'll go ahead and close out this meeting at 944. Okay. Great. Thank you Thank all. Thank you all very much. That was longer than.